Daggummit, guys, we got some great looking dwarf Japanese maples going on here at Mr. Maple today. I'm Matt, we couldn't help but get them on camera and talk to you about them a little bit. Hey guys, I'm Tim, we're MrMaple.com. We ship directly to your door. We do a lot of one gallon and three gallon Japanese maples. You can go on Mr. Maple today and shop for some really cool Japanese maples. We'd really appreciate it. We had 10 new plants every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. And guys, if you're wanting to shop these 10 gallons, we're gonna offer some in-person shopping you have to schedule by appointment on Thursdays with our office staff. So contact us through our office staff on mrmaple.com and you can come shop some of these 10 gallons by appointment. Guys, we've got some exceptional trees, so we wanted to get them on camera and talk to you about them a little bit. Today we're gonna to be discussing dwarf Japanese maples and just a few of our favorites. We're standing in front of three exceptional, great size Murasaki Kiyohime. So Murasaki Kiyohime is a compact dwarf that makes more of a plateau than height. And it kind of just makes these perfect little toadstool shapes. I love the shape it makes. This is going to not be weeping, but it's going to create that perfect little dome environment. Yeah, and one of the things that people often ask us is, how does Mirasaki Kiyohime vary from Kiyohime? Well, Kiyohime goes perfectly lateral almost, where Mirasaki Kiyohime often has a little more upright habit to it, making more of a ball shape. And then it gives that perfect little toadstool like Matt was talking about. I mean, it's an excellent container plant. It's a great plant to put underneath those window sills because it doesn't get very tall, but it gives you a very unique texture and a very cool shape. One of my favorite ways to do these are in a big patio planter. These are in 10 gallon pots right now, so you can see they can stay in a container for quite a while. So if you're starting out with a smaller plant, a patio planter is a great way to do these. These will leaf out in the early spring with an exceptional purple border to one of the smallest leaves from the Japanese maple. And it is an exceptional tree. Now they do fade to more of a light green like you see right now. And the fall colors range from oranges to reds. Now Matt and I, we used to go load up a bunch of Japanese maples and go to garden shows all around the South. And this, whenever we had this tree in the springtime with its purple red border, it was always one of the very first trees that would sell out. We'd always bring as many of them as we could, but they would sell out the quickest. And that's because that spring interest with that purple red border really puts on a very unique display but also one that's very fun to play with and one to very, that's awesome to make a container out of. I mean, those containers, when you have this tree in there with that purple red border and that more ball shape, I mean, you don't even have to prune a Japanese maple to get that. It's not, they had not been hedged. It makes that ball shape all by itself. So you very unique texture and very unique colors with Mirasaki Kiyohime. Now, because of that small leaf, these are also very popular for bonsai. I think you're gonna enjoy this one, whether you're starting out with a smaller plant or one of these very mature specimens it's one that you've got to have in the dwarf Japanese maple garden. Let's go check out some more. Guys, we're standing here with the colorful dwarf Japanese maple, Acer palmatum kurohime. Dadgum, that's a nice looking dwarf Japanese maple. I'm a huge fan of this one, guys. Uh, this is a relatively newer form from Japan. Now, it is pronounced hime. You'll see that as a reoccurring term with a lot of the dwarfer Japanese maples that are dwarfier. It's a term you'll see a lot. Uh, it should be pronounced hime. Some people will pronounce that hime. Typically, the vowel sounds in the middle of Romanji are a softer sound, so it's just a tip for saying these. I am a huge fan of this tree. It is one of the most intense pink colorations on a small leaf form. I mean, it almost looks like clusters of a plant. It doesn't almost look like a Japanese maple at some stages. One of the most show-stopping trees you can add to your landscape. Like Matt was talking about, the term hime means dwarf, compact, almost princess-like. And that's where this name translates as Kuro, deep red black, so like that red black color, princess. I mean, this plant is spectacular as a container plant, great for fairy gardens. This pink color is outstanding. During the summer is one of my favorite times. It can get almost a blue green color to the foliage and then have almost a purple red new growth coming across it. And that just gives good contrast even on itself. This plant is exceptional all throughout the season. Guys, these are massive specimens. It's a fun tree at any size though. I'm a huge fan of how this one makes more of a small rounded canopy to it. It tends to be more of a small ball shape, typically by about four by four, even in a 10 year period. These are an exceptional dwarf Japanese maple that are gonna bring high interest to a sunny location up to zone eight. To a shady spot, you're gonna get more of that light green to pink. They almost fade out a little bit to almost a translucent looking green with some pink new growth or in the container garden. That's a great way to be growing these. You can showcase that color, move them around a little bit, bring them up onto the patio to bring that splash of color back onto the deck. It's an excellent tree for all those settings. And it's one that brings uh, just a ton of interest. My favorite color pattern for this one is actually probably that late summer Tim was talking about. 
because you get kind of a weirder green color going on as the secondary older growth, but you still get some intense, high intensity pink new growth going on over top of that. And it really makes that tree contrast so well, even within one plant. And the fall colors are exceptional too, going from oranges to red. I mean, it's one of the better, more consistent fall colors for us. We've got a great one planted at Hillstone Arboretum at our uncle's home. And I love this plant. It was brought into Japan, or brought in the United States from Japan in 2008. And it's really hitting the market as a very unique Japanese maple that's upright, dense, and gives you a really good color. Guys, let's check out another impressive dwarf Japanese maple. All right, guys, check these out. We're here in a set of massive Acer Palmatum Kamigata. Guys, Kamigata is a selection by J.D. Veritrees himself. J.D. Veritrees wrote the book on Japanese maples, the first, second, and then his work has continued on the third and the fourth edition. And he is an, was an expert when it came to Japanese maples. And this one is his very own introductions. It's extremely heat tolerant, and it has a very claw-like leaf to it that can give you some bronze borders in the early spring. This is a really cool upright dwarf. Yeah, sometimes this one will leaf out with a very intense bronze to purple, so you'll even get a little bit more of that eye feature going on. It's a unique leaf shape. Each leaf almost looks like little hands. I mean, it looks like almost footprints. It's got a crazy imprint to it. A lot of people incorrectly, J.D. Veritrees sometimes even, listed this one as Eagle Claw. And that's a whole other tree we'll talk about at a later time. Kamigata actually means something completely different. I had someone translate it and they once said that it means something closer to a woodland duck. Uh, but an interesting plant nonetheless and a really nice upright dwarf. So this one, although it is a dwarf, is going to make more of a vase shape overall in that six foot range. Oftentimes people will ask me, like, well, I'm six foot tall and I'm standing in a group of these and they're really big. Would you consider that one a dwarf? Typically, if it's under six foot in a 10 year period, that's going to be considered more of a dwarf Japanese maple as compared to the species, which is going to be way larger in the same time frame. So a really interesting plant. I love its dense shrubby like habit to it. This one is a selection that works excellent in high heat settings. So this one works great in rock gardens or areas where you're getting a lot of south west sunlight. It is exceptional for high heat up to zone eight. Guys, like Matt talked about, its heat tolerance is one of its best features when it comes to this dwarf Japanese maple. We have a spot on our southwest exposure at our, our gardens, at Maplewood Gardens at our parents' home, and many Japanese maples wouldn't do well in the one location next to the brick wall, southwest exposure. The brick wall radiated too much heat. We planted a Kamigata there. This plant has thrived and done very well in that location. I mean, this is a plant that's extremely heat tolerant. It's a plant if you're looking for a high heat durability Japanese maple, this is a dwarf Japanese maple that can rival almost any other Japanese maple in its heat tolerance. Yeah, it's got a great shape to it too. I really like this one for the container garden, for the small rock garden where you have conifers and other plants. It's gonna look exceptional. Uh, it really brings a lot of interest to a small area. And that texture really shows out next to other lace leaves, red uprights, or larger palmatums. It's really going to contrast with those very distinctly. So if you have red Japanese maples and you're looking for a really dynamically different plant, think about Acer Palmatum Kamigata. It's going to outperform many other trees in a high heat setting and just really give you something exceptional in the landscape. The really small dwarf habit and the way those leaves curl gives it a tuft appearance. And for an upright tree, that really adds a unique texture out there in the landscape and garden with some really good bronze colors in the spring around the edges to some really good fall colors, which can be some really nice shades of orange to red. Kamigata is an excellent tree, an excellent dwarf Japanese maple you should definitely be using in your garden. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this showcase on dwarf Japanese maples. If you like this, dadgummit, why aren't you subscribed to our channel? Make sure to subscribe. We really appreciate you guys. Our regular people are amazing. We, we love you in that live chat. You guys make it so much fun. We joke around, but we really would love for you to subscribe to the Mr. Maple Show today and join that Maple Mafia community. we got a great community of people that comment under our videos and get in those live chats for really interesting conversations. Y'all, thanks so much for watching today. Smash that like button. Remember to shop with us on MrMaple.com. Take care. God bless. And have a great day.